hi. So I wanted to actually <laughs> Koda. He always chooses to like drink water or like play with that obnoxious toy when my camera's out. You are not that thirsty, dude. But you've done nothing but sleep all day. Eat your food. Um, I just wanted to quickly um talk about this blanket I got from Big Lots. It was $15 and it is literally the softest, dreamiest thing ever. Like, I've been using it since I bought it yesterday and it wasn't even that cold yesterday. It was like sunny, but today it's like fairly cloudy. Oh, that's me. Um, but it's fairly cloudy outside right now and I'm just, you know, just snuggling with it. But Chris is home now. Uh, he's at work. I didn't mean like here actually he's home from Yakima so it's been really nice just having him home again and just getting back into the swing of work and life you know um, but it's Friday so we're gonna try to do some things I don't think we're gonna go out anywhere like to eat or anything I do want to go to Costco so we'll probably end up getting like a Costco pizza or something because I don't feel like cooking um, but we're also going to try to either paint or carve some pumpkins today, so I figured I'd vlog, um, our day. I don't think we're going to go to the pumpkin patch. There's like this little market down the street from our house that has like a whole bunch of pumpkins. It's really cute. So I think we're just going to go pick one out from there or Trader Joe's. I'm not entirely sure yet. But this also all depends on what time he gets off because if it's too late, I think we might only go to Costco. I don't know, I'm just trying to fill out the day, but just felt like vlogging, I'm in a great mood. Um, sponsored by coffee, as always. This is just like a local coffee shop nearby, it's called The Brew, and they have a Halloween menu. This is the Witch's Brew Cold Brew, and it's, it's great. It's caramel and vanilla cold brew with pumpkin cold foam. So, I think the cold brew is kicking in now because like I said, I'm in a great mood and very energetic. If you asked me that when I woke up at like at eight, I was feeling so sluggish and stuff. I didn't even want to put on makeup today, but look at, I have a full face now. It's either, it's always like, okay, I'm like, I'm only gonna do my eyebrows and then no. It's like, next thing you know, it's like a full face of makeup and yeah, I don't know. Um, but I'll just update you guys when Chris gets home. I really don't think I'm gonna be doing much while he's away because I'm lazy and I'll probably just be on TikTok. But I'll update you guys then.
bright and early, messy hair and all. He's back at it. This is your second coat, you said? Yeah, it's fine to say you coat before uh, we leave because I want to put a third one. I want real pink. I want spots. <laughs> you know, the time and effort you're putting into that one makes me reevaluate mine, so I might have to add a couple more stuff to it. it Sounds like you're just scared to lose. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> So I'm going to try these. Okay, so I got the Ube coffee. I asked for an extra sweet just because I didn't know if it was sweetened or not. So let's see if I made the right call on that one. But it's really pretty. Okay. She also said to stir it well, so. Wow. That's a very like, okay, different taste. Like if you don't like, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, ube, if you don't like it, or you've never had it, it's definitely like, I would almost compare it to matcha, but not so earthy. I hope I'm making sense. That's really good though. Wow. Um, Chris got the brown sugar kind. He didn't ask for it extra sweet or anything, it just as is. Oh. I did get oat milk and he got whole milk. So I'm just gonna take a small sip of his because I cannot have whole milk. I love brown sugar though. It's very good. It's very good, but not that sweet. I like really sweet drinks, but the brown sugar taste is really like subtle. Overall, I would definitely come back. I'm not really, I don't know, I'm the kind of person like I really like ice and a lot of it. I know a lot of people are like, they don't like a lot of ice, but I do. And it's such a small amount. It almost like is watered down just a little bit. I definitely want to try, I think they had coconut matcha, so I want to come back and try that. I am calling it right now, Chris is not going to like this. Well, okay, he likes taro, so, okay, you know what, is taro ube? Am I crazy? Let me look this up. The food color and added to it to make them look light purple, ube is much darker purple. Okay, so they are different things. And then I, there's a question, it says, does taro taste like ube? It says, ube as opposed to taro is much sweeter and has a stronger vanilla flavor with notes of pistachio. Oh, you know what? Now that they said that, it is like a nutty taste. So like, I feel like with oat milk, it complements it very well. Wow, I like ube better than taro. So I don't know, he might like it, but I think he's gonna like mine more actually. And I don't know. We'll see. When he comes, I'm going to make him try it. Not too... It's not sweet. But it's not like... It's not sweet? It's not... It tastes like the brown sugar though, right? Yeah. It's, I'm not saying it's like... It's sweet, but not a lot of sweet, you know? Okay. So, this is the ube one. Do you this know what ube is? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm going to tell you... Because like, I had to look up some one. stuff. Huh? It's going to be the favorite one. The favorite one? Yeah. Just try it. Are you into it? I think it's pretty good. I'm getting like a chocolate. A chocolate? Yeah. Mm -mm. So, I thought ube was taro, or like similar at least. So, like, I guess they're. Here, let me read the, the description again. So, ube is purple yam, and taro is a root that actually isn't even purple at all. They add coloring to it. So they're like very different. But they said that ube is like vanilla-y with like hints of pistachio. Oh wow. And like, 
Now I taste like the nutty like taste yeah, to okay. it. Yeah. But I think I like it better than taro. Mm. You don't? Oh, because it tastes like Oreo to you. Yeah. Cookies and cream. So which would you like more though? I want to say this one just because it's a little bit more sweet. I wish sweet. I would have said. I got extra sweet. Yeah, though. I wish I would have asked for this one a little bit more sweet. But this is still pretty good though. But if that one was sweeter, would you choose that one over this one? Yeah. <gasps> you would choose that. You don't like the ube then? I, I like it. I don't want you to think I don't like it. But this one's pretty good. I just wish it was a little sweeter. Sorry to disappoint. I was wrong. I'm just kidding. At first I thought I was going to say that you wouldn't like this at all, but then I was like, you know what? Mine's sweeter, so he's probably going to like mine. I didn't think that was going to We've just been like on the go and we're on our way now. Uh, it's Thursday, tomorrow we both have Friday off so we figured we would just spend the day in Portland. And it's about two hours away so it just feels a little better that we get to go there, spend the night and then just have all day tomorrow to go explore. We brought Coda with us. The lighting's really bright right now. And it's his birthday so it's a little birthday getaway I guess. The lighting's really unflattering right now but Coda! Koda, are you ready to go? <gasps> about everything about having Coda and just made everything super easy we got valet parking and everything it was so nice um sorry my hair is crazy I'm like in the middle of blow drying it but last night we got in like around 7 30 we unloaded we relaxed for a bit especially Chris like he was driving two hours you know right after work so we came and we relaxed a bit and then um, it was kind of hard to find places that were open around the time when we actually tried to order food but we ended up finding this taco place that was amazing their chips and salsa were so good oh my god Kada. thank you <laughs> 